luck is gone from my way Wherever I go, hard luck is dead in state Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a coming my way Today we find ourselves at Disney's Hollywood Studios just for a couple hours. We're kind of just bumming around, taking in some of the things that we love to do here, trying some new stuff, like meeting Mike and Sully from Monsters, Inc. We've been meaning to check this out for a while now, and every time we've come here, the line has been insane. But we're going inside to meet Mike and Sully from Monsters, Inc. You ready for this, Jessica? Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm probably the one I look forward to the most. Didn't have to wait too long, but we're finally going to meet Mike and Sully here. It says, wait time, 40 minutes. You can meet them here between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. The sign says, Monsters, Inc. Experience. Disney Pixar. It looks really awesome in there. First glance, I'm going to have to say that I actually like this a lot better than the Star-Lord and Groot, the Guardians of the Galaxy meet and greet. It's definitely more colorful, wouldn't you say so? Did you know that Mike Wazowski is a scare assistant? This is a very important job, they supposedly. It's all kinds of trivia here. Did you also know that Roz was the first runner-up in the Miss Monstropolis beauty contest 40 years ago? Really digging the artwork that they have here and all the different lights. It's kind of cool, actually. I'm gonna have to say I am unfamiliar with this artwork. Is this from like a book or what is this from? I don't know. I like the art style. Did you know that Mike Wazowski has really bad eyesight and because of this he wears a giant contact? And probably one of the coolest meet and greet areas that I've ever seen in my life is here from Mike and Sully. It's like going through the portal into the bedroom. And here's a control panel. This is say 12, 12, 13. I just want to start hitting buttons. Hello. Hi. It's recording. Yeah, just you know, get a hold of here and up here. It's and then it's just recording. It's all Place your bag right up to the left hand side. Place it out that way. not that bad here today there's not that many people it says standby entrance for the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror is about 55 minutes but of course we have a fast pass we always ride whenever we have a fast pass that's about the only time really so here's a little tidbit of information as you're walking up here this wall it changes heights as height as you're walking into the ride and that's mainly to give you a feeling of uneasiness see that straight ahead how it's different and then it gets bigger, and then it gets smaller, and then bigger. And there she is right there.
that door is open once again. Aside from riding the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, one of the best things about this ride is the gift shop, where you have your choice of Twilight Zone Tower of Terror t-shirts, ball caps that are like iridescent, they're reflective, board games, and light up Twilight Zone Tower of Terror ears. There's a bellhop dolly here with some luggage on it, and the official Hollywood Tower Hotel t-shirt. You really do need to get yourself one of the, the, the bellhop hats. Go ahead, put it on. It's so neat, your, your hair kind of looks like spider webs right now. I think it's very becoming. I think you need it. The mugs for this ride are really awesome. There was Mickey getting on the elevator himself. But this is probably one of my favorites right here. Check that out. Very cool. And of course, once you ride the elevator, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, you have to commemorate it by getting a bell. You might be a fan of the ride, but did you also know that there's a movie, The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror? Recognize that guy right there from Police Academy? One of the nice hidden things about this ride is just on the outside, and a lot of people miss it, is these windows. This one, particularly over here, has pumpkins in it. It's always Halloween. See it? Here's a piece of trivia. How many rides in Walt Disney World actually have pumpkins in them still? There's, there's, the, there's this one, the Tower of Terror, and the Carousel of Progress. There's a pumpkin in it all year round. That's right, but does this count because it's in the shop window? It's actually in the ride itself. Where? Well, here. I mean, it's here. It's like as part of the ride, so this would be a part of it. This counts? That would count, yeah. There's even more pumpkins over here. This one has cobwebs, or spider webs, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Cobwebs are made from human skin and dust. Dun dun! And if you're a penny collector just outside of the ride, you can get some pressed pennies of Mickey in the Twilight Zone, Tower of Terror. Now we're heading inside the Backlot Express restaurant. It's a great place to eat, especially to get burgers, but there's something very, very special in here from our childhood. A movie prop. Just wait till you get a load of this one. In the back of the Backlot restaurant is this lost piece of film history. Does that look anything familiar? It probably doesn't because of movie magic, but this is Benny the Cab from the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Eddie Valiant drove him. How cool is that? On the wall behind Benny, there are two pictures. Here's one of Eddie Valiant riding him during filming. And right next to it, there's the Hollywood movie magic. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Here's even more photos from production. And it's very small. It's just back here in the corner. Not many people realize that it's here. They stop, grab a burger, eat some fries, and they move on. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? So next time you come to Hollywood Studios, make sure you stop and check out Benny the Cab. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. 